Here we go again. Manchester United are reportedly exploring the possibility of signing Al Ittihad center forward Karim Benzema on loan for the second half of the 2023 24 campaign. The 36 year old left Real Madrid on a free transfer last summer to move to the Saudi Pro League, and he has represented Al Ittihad on 20 occasions, scoring 12 goals and registering five assists in the process. Benzema has managed nine goals and five assists in 15 appearances in the Saudi Pro League this season, but Al Ittihad are down in seventh position in the table, 25 points behind the leaders Al Hilal. Al Ittihad will not be back in action until the start of February, but there has been doubt over Benzema's involvement in his side's upcoming tour of Dubai. According to journalist Javier Parapena, Man United are keeping a close eye on Benzema's situation, with the Red Devils exploring the possibility of signing him on loan for the rest of the season. Ex-Man United forward, Louis Saha, recently called on the 20-time English champions to move for Benzema. He, Benzema, will shake up the United front line, and that's what they need. He will definitely score goals, and he will link up the play a lot better, Saha told betting odds. It's just a dream. But Karim is still a very professional guy. He's the type of striker that Rasmus Hoyland will learn from. But that's just a fantasy. Benzema scored 354 goals and registered 165 appearances in 648 appearances for Real Madrid, before surprisingly ending his time at the club for a new challenge. Man United head coach Eric Ten Hag has said that his club are open to making loan signings this month, with the Red Devils currently short of options at center forward, with Anthony Martial unavailable for selection. Martial is out of contract this summer, meanwhile, and his departure would leave Hojland as the club's only senior option at center forward. Hojland is the team's joint leading goal scorer this season, with six alongside Bruno Fernandes and Scott McTominay, while Alejandro Garnacho is next in the standings with five, again and again. Manchester United are set to open talks with Benfica over a summer move for midfield star Joao Neves. The 19-year-old broke into the Benfica first team at the start of 2023 following Enzo Fernandez's 106 millions of pounds move to Chelsea, filling the void left by the World Cup winner. Neves has gone from strength to strength this season, establishing himself as a key first-team player under Benfica coach Roger Schmidt and making three appearances for Portugal. United are admirers of Neves, who is now viewed as a priority investment at Old Trafford, where Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos are set to overhaul the club's recruitment department after years of mismanagement. The Mirror Report United will now begin the groundwork for a summer deal soon. Incidentally, United have held talks with Benfica this month over a deal for Alvaro Fernandes, with the fullback expected to join the Portuguese giants on an initial loan deal. United captain Bruno Fernandes fueled talk of a move for his young compatriot in November, naming him as one of the best young players in Europe. It has to be the Man United coach who says whether he has a place or not, Fernandes said. He's a great player. I don't know if he would have a place or not. It depends on the coach and his ideas, but he's an excellent player and an excellent kid, very professional. He will have a bright future wherever he goes. I would love to have him by my side, because he has quality and will have a bright future. It depends on him. What I want most is the best for him. Benfica were determined not to sell Fernandez to Chelsea last January, with the Blues eventually paying his huge release clause to push the deal through. But Benfica head coach Schmidt does not expect history to repeat itself this month. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag was happy with his team's performance in front of Sir Jim Ratcliffe. I think we can bring more calmness and composure on the ball, Eric Ten Hag said on Sky Sports. We gave so much space away, so it is challenging to pass the ball in midfield. He, Ratcliffe, will have seen a team fighting for each other and trying to get a win. He will have seen two great goals elsewhere. Gary Neville hit out at Manchester United's damning decline by congratulating Jude Bellingham for snubbing them. Speaking on Sky Sports, Neville said, I've spoken to a couple of players before they've come here and said, you'll never regret it, it's a magic football club. But I have to say, looking back, it looks like pretty poor advice with what's happened to them since they've come, and it's really sad. They would have thrived at other clubs. 
Other players who have chosen other clubs have gone on to be really successful. You think of Jude Bellingham, and I think of that quite a lot. When he walks into the boardroom here at Man United, United have agreed a fee with Birmingham, and so have Dortmund. He has a choice between Dortmund and United, and somehow that kid, well done to him, chose Borussia Dortmund, and he's now one of the greatest players in the world, one of the greatest English talents. What would have happened to him if he'd come here? I don't know, maybe he would have been a success because he's that good. I'm not so sure in the current environment and culture and what's been happening. Again and again. Manchester United fans have been left fuming after being denied a penalty against Tottenham. The Red Devils welcomed Spurs to Old Trafford for the Premier League clash as Sir Jim Ratcliffe watched on for the first time. Alejandro Garnacho went down in the box under pressure from Destiny Udogi. The Argentine appeared to be held by the Spurs defender as he dropped to the floor. United fans were left seething as they claimed that it was an obvious foul by the Italian defender. One fan slammed, clear pen. A second wrote, the most obvious foul you could ever see. A third posted, that should be a penalty. Another commented, it's a clear penalty. Another added, like, how is that not a foul? Genuinely, he is literally holding on to him. United ended the first half 2-1 ahead, thanks to goals from Rasmus Hoyland and Marcus Rashford, while Richarlison netted for Spurs. But Rodrigo Bentancur leveled within two minutes of the second half starting, before Eric Ten Hag had even taken his seat. And that was how the game ended as the points were shared. On the other side, Sir Jim Ratcliffe was chatting with Manchester United managerial legend Sir Alex Ferguson during the Red Devils clash with Tottenham. The Ineos boss attended his first match at Old Trafford today, since it was agreed that he would purchase 25% of the club. However, it was Juan Bissaka, and not Delot, who was put on the left side of United's defense. Ratcliffe is convinced he will have control of football operations at Manchester United ratified within weeks. That will include taking entire control of the footballing side of United. Ahead of the game, Ratcliffe walked around the corridors of Old Trafford meeting staff and media. He could not answer many specific questions about his plans for the club with the Premier League still to grant his involvement, which he believes is a matter of weeks away. Sir Jim said, Early to mid-Feb. We hope they don't find anything dodgy in our CV. It's the first match for me since we got here. It's taken a few turns, as you know, but these things take some doing. I am very excited to be here but I can't answer any questions, really. It's a big match. We normally do well against Spurs. Sir Jim has been involved in elite sport with cycling, sailing, and with Nice in League One. He said this was undoubtedly the most exciting thing he has been involved in, having first set his eyes on United two or three years ago. I have done a few exciting things, but this caps it all. There is no question about that, he said. He has already had meetings with manager Eric Ten Hag, but would not expand on what was said. He said, I have met Eric, but inappropriate to say anything, until it is all formalized. Sir Jim, born just outside of Manchester in Failsworth, is a lifelong United fan, but said he has not been to Old Trafford for two or three years for a game having first come 60 years ago. He named Paul Scholes and Eric Cantona as his favorite players, and going forward said he would be a more regular visitor. He said, I can't come all the time because I have a few other things to manage but I will come.